Hello everyone, this is Stan Phillips here, and we are going to be talking about positioning your projector. So, you're going to need a few things to start out with your positioning. First one, you're going to need a lot of extension cords, okay? You can do one of the really big ones, you can, you know, chain a couple 25ers together, but you are going to need a good length so you can move around your whole yard. Next thing you're going to need is just something to throw on the ground to mark your position. It doesn't have to be anything special, really something that you can kind of put around your wrist so it's right there, throw in your pocket so you can put it down on the ground. So once you get your standing spot, you can come back to it. I recommend a light colored thing. You're going to be doing this at night or at dusk, so any little bit helps. Another thing that you're going to need is a tape measure because once you get to your spot you're going to need to start thinking about uh, measurements so you can come up with your housing. The measurements are very important. And obviously the last thing you need is your projector. So whatever projector you ended up choosing uh, that's going to be what you need. Uh, you don't really need anything special to hook up to it. We're just going to use the straight um, white blue, green, whatever color screen it is. Um, so you don't need to worry about HDMI cables or anything. At this point, you just need your power cable. Let's get outside. Okay, so we are back outside and it is a dark night and you wanna have the lights down a little bit. I'm going to have mine on. I just know it's bright enough that I can see all the corners and everything. And this way you can see a little bit of the yard as I'm thinking about how I want to place everything. So the first thing that you want to do is take a look and see what decorations you have out in the yard. Over here we have ghosts and tombstones. Now these were kind of designed to block my original housing. So this huge tombstone here, this is where my housing used to be. You can even see that some rub marks there. Um, it was center in the yard and that was priority. So as you are placing, you want to try to keep it centered. I'll show you what it's like if it's kicked off to the side and that's okay. You can do that. The only thing is, it's going to kind of distort your images. So when you go to put everything in to the video editing, you have to pre-distort your images, which is one more step. It's not really hard, but it's easier not to do it. So I have a couple trees. One of my biggest issues was the landscaping. We had put that in about two years in and I had to redo everything twice. One. So, I have everything hooked up. I have my long extension cord. When you hook up your extension cords, I recommend doing this knot. Um, you're going to be dragging it around the yard. Sometimes you'll step on it. And if you do, this kind of holds the, the cords together. So this will help you. You don't want to just unplug your projector. So. <clears throat> I have my projector up here. You're just going to have it in your hands. And I recommend for this having somebody else helping you. Uh, that way you can hold it while they do the measurements or you can have them hold it while you do the measurements. So I'm going to turn on the projector and I'm going to pull it off. We're going to speed through this as it warms up. All right, so it looks like it's warmed up. My background screen is green, so I'm going to go. You really can do it with green, but I recommend white so it's nice and bright. So I'm going to go. This one happens to have a, where is it? All right, there it is right here. So I'm going to choose my test pattern to be pure white. The pure white is going to make it really easy to see. So if you look off in the sides, you can probably see the tree is really lit up on the left. Over on the right, I can see into my backyard. 
it's all done in the grass, you want to try to have it as close to cropped as possible. So over on my house on the right side, I have a gutter and the left side is the gutter. That is the furthermost point. So I'm going to move closer until I can see it coming off of my gutters on either side. This is where now I kind of see how far away from the house I have to be. This is kind of obvious, but if you move closer, it gets smaller. If you move back, it gets larger. So just kind of use as as you're going. If you're trying to hide behind something, you can move over in front of that object. And then once you're in front of that object, you can place from there. Me personally, I want it kind of centered and out of the way. So I'm going to move over. So as I'm moving to the left, you can see on the garage doors that the landscaping is starting to throw a shadow. So I'm going to keep moving until I'm straight on on my top two trees there. And then that way their shadow will be right behind. So now I'm pretty close. The shadow is behind, which is perfect. The other shadow is over by the window, and that's not a worry. I don't usually put a lot of stuff on there. So the bottom edge of the video, you want to have down horizontal on the ground. So in this case, I'm looking at my garage doors and the porch. I'm going to bring you up closer. So looking at the porch line, you can see that there is a pure cut. Over here on the garage doors, you can see it kind of picks up on this side. So I'm just going to tilt it a little bit. But this gives me a rough idea. So at this point, I'm going to have my helper throw down the marker. And I'm going to start marking up and measuring where I want the projector to be. Uh, for me, I'm going to lift it up higher. So that way, as the landscaping grows in this time, I don't have to worry about it. All right, so at this point, you should have everything measured out. So you have a rough estimate where you want everything to be, the certain tilt that you need to have. Pretty much you might be finding, unless you're on a hill, you should be pretty close to ground level of the house. Maybe like two, three feet off of the ground. Unfortunately, my yard has quite a drop in the hill. So my projector has to be up like five feet in the air. Hopefully this was helpful. And the next part, we are going to start talking about the housings. Thank you.